Everything in your body has a particular feature, in this case, the presence of sugars, and sending information to the brain to essentially to control your behavior. And I find this remarkable. I mean, this should completely reframe the way that we think about the sort of so-called hidden sugars in foods. What this means is that even if a food is very savory, like a piece of pizza or a, or a piece of bread or uh, even like a salad dressing, if there's sugar snuck into that and you can't taste it, you will still crave more of that thing without knowing that you crave it because it has sugar. So I find this to be a fascinating aspect of our biology. A lot of how we feel while we eat and after we eat is because of this vagus sensing of what's in our gut. It's sending information all the time. Is there sugar? Are there fats? Are there contaminants? There are a lot of information, these so-called parallel pathways that are going up into our brain that regulate whether or not we want to eat more of something or not. And there are accelerators, things that make us want to eat more, like sugar and fats, because those are nutrient dense and they help generally, at least in the short term, support the survival of animals, but also amino acids. And this is very important. There are a lot of data, but...